Hi, I'm Tad Gary, Deputy Chief Executive Officer at MercyCare. MercyCare is more than a health plan. We are part of the Arizona community. We created our own community giving initiative called Mercy Cares. Mercy Cares is our community giving initiative, which includes our Community Reinvestment Grants Program. Hi, my name is Tricia Stewart, and I'm the Director of Community Relations for Mercy Care. We support organizations that advance health equity and really support Mercy Care's community health focus areas, which are managing chronic conditions, addressing housing security, supporting mental health and well being, and empowering recovery from substance use. Since 2016, when the program started, we have invested over $24 million into the community um, through local nonprofit organizations. So let me give you three examples of some of the recent grants. One is a partnership with Mercy Housing and Spectrum Healthcare, where we're bringing health and wellness resources on site to um, affordable housing communities for aging residents. So it allows us to basically not only provide educational opportunities through health navigators, but also a mobile health clinic that will be delivering healthcare services essentially to their doorstep so that they never have to leave. It's very important to Mercy Care to bring services to where they're needed most and meet the people where they are at. The second example is a collaboration that we have between Contexture, which is Arizona's health information exchange, and Hospice of the Valley. And the project is called Choose Your Person. And what the intention of this grant is, is to really create some public awareness for advanced care planning. We're really hoping um, that this will not only serve our members, but the entire community, because this is a topic that can easily be stigmatized and people are uncomfortable with it. The third program is Oakwood Creative Care, and we're funding um, a project called the Dementia Hub. And what that is focused on is providing families the support that they need to be able to have their loved one who is living with dementia live at home versus having to be moved to a facility. So it's got a couple of really great components. Um, one of them is a program that's home-based where they train the caregiver on things like, like life goals planning, like perhaps modifying the home so that it's safer for everyone that's living there. Um, educating and training on how to reduce stress because it's a very stressful situation to be a full-time caregiver. And then the second component of the program is a memory cafe that they have on site at their facility where both the caregiver and the person living with dementia is able to come in and have a little bit of respite, have a little bit of socialization, um, get the community support that they need and deserve, um, and just be able to relax and enjoy themselves. These are just three examples of many incredible organizations that we funded this year and some of the really impressive, impactful work that they are doing in the community. As a health plan, I mean, we're a Medicaid health plan. We are there to support members who are on access, but a lot of our members are not accessing the services they need in traditional ways. So that's where Mercy Cares can come into play, where we are able to partner with community organizations who then are providing services and being able to allow folks to ac access these services where they're needed the most. And we've been fortunate that we've been able to impact by giving out over $24 million since 2016 because we can't solve it alone. And we know that it takes everyone coming to the table and working together to be able to have a positive impact.